I need a snack. Oh, <laughs> why are you in the freezer? <laughs> oh, geez, what's up? Two real geeks here outside the freezer. You're in the freezer, but it's another geek's kitchen. And Jess is making me a snack because I need one all the time now. Oh, fudge. Oh, fudge. That's what we're calling this because she's making some fudge. Let's let's go. <laughs> Look, Chili Willy's out of the freezer now. <laughs> hey, everybody. Jess. How's it going? <laughs> Jess. What's up? What kind of fudge you making? Okay, so today we're going to test out three types. One, two, three. Of super easy fudge. And delicious. Um. Well. I can't say delicious for all three. Yeah. Well, because you're making one that I do not approve of. Yeah. So we're testing out these fudge recipes to see how they are. Yep. And... Oh. All right, so... We are gonna make three kinds of fudge today. We're making a strawberry fudge, a peanut butter fudge, and an orange creamsicle fudge. Now, two of them, the strawberry and the peanut butter, microwave only, no stove, no nothing. The creamsicle does have to go on the stove, but still pretty easy. Um, so we're gonna test these out and see how they go. Let's do it. So here's everything you need for all three. For the strawberry, can of strawberry frosting, white chocolate chips, for the peanut butter, jar of peanut butter, vanilla frosting, and for the uh, creamsicle, gonna have some white chocolate chips, vanilla frosting, some orange extract, and some food coloring. So, two of these, you know that, right? Like, I probably would touch, especially that creamsicle. But, oh, really? But peanut butter? Really? Well, we can't all suffer because you have terrible taste. <laughs> I don't have terrible... Peanut butter's nasty. Who doesn't like peanut butter? Me. What ridiculous person? Uh, well, then I'll be ridiculous. You are ridiculous. Thank you. Ridiculous. Let's pack the strawberry first. Mmm, strawberries. Now, I'm just going to make plain beautiful strawberry fudge but um if you want to put any kind of like if you want to do it for like valentine's day and get the little like little candy heart um like confetti or anything like that or pretty much anything can go on top of it make it really oh, like funfetti the... almost but for fudge you could even funfetti it if you oh, want to boy. so we're doing it plain this time but it can really be like dressed up so my um, white chocolate chips are 11 and a half ounces. I'm going to take a tiny bit out of this one because this one only needs 10. So like Again, maybe. Jess doesn't use a measuring. No. Yep. No, if you it's follow me, eye. you'll... Like, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to cook. <laughs> like, just because, you know. Don't, don't be, be afraid, afraid to eat. Exactly. Eat so. good things. Don't do ridiculous things. I mean, oh, once chocolate. you have some, yes. Ooh, look at that. So we're gonna put this in the microwave, 30 seconds at a time, and mix it up until it's all melted. Oh, look at that fancy microwave! One touch button, and it goes to 30 seconds. <laughs> Whose microwave choice was that? I don't, well, mine, but I yeah, don't know how fancy it is. Oh, it's so fancy with your kitchen stuff, huh? Mm -hmm, yeah, that's me. A tiny bit of meltage. I would say we need some more uh, time on that, huh? Cause it's just a uh, heart goo. Mm. 
Jack's all mad because he can't have any fudge. Me. <laughs> and we got the chocolate all melted. And take your strawberry frosting. Ooh. No, don't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you own tiny kitchen stuff? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Me and my tiny kitchen stuff. We won't talk about how it came from a Hello Kitty cookie baking <laughs> set. <laughs> so not only do I have a tiny spatula, I have a tiny Hello Kitty spatula. This strawberry frosting looks like it came from a unicorn. It smells like it too. <laughs> We need like some music in the kitchen. We're like, da 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 Wow! We're just mixing the fudge. Wow! Wow! Mix the fudge. It's kind of hard. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, I see that. Take some muscle to mix the fudge. I feel like I should be doing that for you. Now here, right where you belong. <laughs> what, what can go wrong? I mean, what can go wrong with me mixing the fudge? Right. Hopefully, that's well mixed. Oh, the tiny Hello Kitty spatula is back, everybody. <laughs> There it is. All right, so um, it said to put it in a nine by nine pan, but I don't have any nine by nine pans, but I do have 11 by seven pans, which are the same. So can we call the strawberry one like unicorn fudge? I mean, I guess you can do whatever makes you happy. I mean, Oh, foil lined pens. Why? I don't know. I can make a speculation on why you want foil in the pan. So putting foil in the pan, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> will make it easier to remove the fudge <laughs> from the pan. You don't See? say, Wolfgang. I, <laughs> look, look, I taught Gordon Ramsay everything he knew. <laughs> Okay, he knew, he knows, whatever. <laughs> whatever you want to say. I taught them all, okay? Who you need to look up is, to is Gordon Ramsay's cameraman. Uh, it, That's... <laughs> <laughs> you should find out his Why? name. <laughs> Why? Why his cameraman? Because <laughs> that's what you are. I am not. You're my cameraman. No, no, I'm the supervisor of this operation. And, and, who, and who's the best... <laughs> And who's the best cook that you've ever met in your young life? Me. I mean, you manage a box of mac and cheese. Pretty damn well. <laughs> okay, pretty damn well. Like you don't try to go off book and do fancy things. <laughs> fancy mac and cheese out of a box is the best. <laughs> Like some music in the kitchen, you're like, da 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 Hard. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, I see that. Take some muscle to mix the fudge. I feel like I should be doing that for you. Now, here, right where you belong. <laughs> what can go wrong? I mean, what can go wrong with me mixing the fudge? Right. Hopefully, that's well mixed. Tiny Hello Kitty spatula is back, everybody. <laughs> there it is. All right, so 
Um, it said to put it in a 9 by 9 pan. But I don't have any 9 by 9 pans. But I do have 11 by 7 pans. Which are the same dimension. <laughs> like... The same area, generally, as a 9 yeah, but by 9 pan. Ladies gross, <laughs> gross, gross, gross. There is accounting for taste. Gross. <laughs> no. Why, why, why must you, where are you? Why must you do this to me? Why must you do this to me? Why, 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 huh? I despise peanut butter. You see this face? <laughs> this is a face of me being disturbed right now. Very disturbed. Because of that one right there. <laughs> the horror of the news that I just received from her. What did you say, Jess? I said I sneak peanut butter in your food all the time and you don't notice. <laughs> Things have to happen here. I don't know what. I need to make changes in this household and ban all peanut butter. I hope you enjoy living alone. Say goodbye to your peanut butter. I hope you enjoy Say living alone. Say goodbye to your peanut because butter. Because I won't live in a house without peanut butter and I can assure you that Leia will not live in a house without peanut well, butter. You did it to yourself. You put that evil substance in my food, you said. Okay, time for Danny's favorite. <sighs> <laughs> Let's make some peanut butter <sighs> fudge. Why would you ruin vanilla frosting with this? <laughs> Why? I think vanilla frosting is now my least favorite frosting. Thank you for ruining this experience for me. <laughs> Guess you can't have fun Funfetti anymore. <sighs> we'll find other fun Funfetti ways around this <laughs> issue. So, are all these fudges being made the same way? What do you mean? Like, with icing? They do all have icing in them. Yeah, I've never heard of fudge having icing in it before. Is this a new one for you? It is. What about you? Icing fudge is one that I haven't tried before, so. Oh, yeah? I've never heard of it, so. Alright, so you need an 18 ounce jar of peanut butter. Any kind of peanut butter? Yep, you can use chunky. You can use smooth. Like me. <laughs> or chunky like me. No. <laughs> Be like Leia. My puppy is perfect. <laughs> and the Hello Kitty spatula is back once again. Okay, that's weird. Look at what you're doing with that fudge. With, not the fudge, with the peanut butter. You're like making swirls of it coming out the jar. I've never seen that. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> How did you do that? Yeah. And now is there a reason you're using Skippy peanut butter? Because it's my favorite. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. So you can use like any kind of peanut butter? Yep. Okay, I don't know the peanut butter brands or... You could use... Reese's? Peter Pan. Reese's? I mean, if you find Reese's peanut butter, you could surely use Well, they're in cups. So wouldn't melting down Reese's peanut butter cups make this a lot quicker and easier? You would have the chocolate. There is no chocolate. You're making fudge. How is there no chocolate? This is confusing now. You think that chocolate has to have... Fudge has to have chocolate in it? Well, that's what fudge is, isn't it? It's chocolate. Not necessarily. Oh my gosh, I've been lied to all my life then. <laughs> About so many things. <laughs> so you see this? Somebody's gonna go crazy here in a little bit. Leia. Puppy. Of course she's running. She's running. Yep, she needs a towel. She's the messiest eater you'll come across. And she's got the whole jar 
of the remaining peanut butter. And this will keep her happy for hours. <laughs> Ew. Bulldog drool. Leia's enjoying her last of the peanut butter in this house. <laughs> I'm not even going to tell her the horrible things you said about peanut butter. That was gross. She'll never talk to you. And that, that there's no more peanut butter allowed in the house? Mm -hmm. What are you looking at? Are you looking at a recipe on there? Jess actually got a recipe for this? Well, I told you I never made these before. No. Wow, look, you got all fancy, all boxy and stuff with the <laughs> recipe. I'm impressed. And it's on a card, so it can go in your recipe box. Yeah. And it's right next to the Wicked Witch. Who are you calling a Wicked Witch? Not you. So what are you doing with that? Is going in there now, too? Peanut butter and frosting. I haven't mixed them together yet. Just dumped them both in the bowl. Going in the microwave for one minute. Oh, we're up in the time here? Ooh. Is that done? Did your peanut butter melt? The frosting's definitely melted. I think we're good. So you mix that together now? Mixing, mixing, mixing the peanut butter in the bowl. I'm telling you, you need some like mixing music. <laughs> oh, now it's the mixing dance. <laughs> oh, it's the mixing dance, ladies and gentlemen. That's a rare one right there. There is a mixing dance, but I'm not showing it. <laughs> <laughs> Now we pour into an another 11 by 7 <laughs> dish because again. Is this the theme is 11 by 7? I do not have 9 by 9. So again, the recipe said 9 by 9. Uh huh. I am taking some liberty. <laughs> well, you show that recipe who's boss then. I did. Then you pour all that into the foil in the pan just for you just for me so <laughs> that that is going to you and Leia why peanut butter though who likes peanut butter everybody in the world except you I guess I'm not in the world then no you're not uh, <laughs> the peanut butter one right it is so that goes in the fridge it does for how long do these go in the fridge for though until they set really doesn't take very long okay Half hour or so. play is drinking water Half hour she does like to do that oh my god so good uh. <laughs> check out how good this is check it out this and did you have to bring the water with you on the floor? She doesn't like to do that. Like you're saving it for later. Like Isn't that good puppy? Isn't it amazing? Oh no. Mm -hmm. Did you have enough peanut butter yet? She stole your bowl. She's lucky I don't need that bowl anymore. If I had to use it a third time, I probably wouldn't let the dog lick it out. You make her mad. Probably. Even though I do wash it in between. Yeah. With soap and everything. <laughs> and now it's the last, it's the creamsicle one? Creamsicle time! Awesome. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> now we're gonna get rolling on the creamsicle fudge. So why are you doing it in a pan, on a pot on the stove? You know, 
I'm not sure. So I kind of feel like maybe it would work in the microwave as well. But I'm gonna try it the way that the recipe said to okay. the first time. And next time I'll probably give it a shot in the microwave and see how it turns out. Cause I feel like it'll be all right. Okay. Um, oh, oh, no more Hello Kitty one? I didn't feel like cleaning the peanut butter off, so I got one of my good ones. Okay. One well, of your Halloween ones, your skull and crossbone. Alright, so you, I put, I put this on medium. It might even need to go a little lower. I don't want this to be too high. The recipe didn't really specify. Okay. Just sit in a saucepan. <laughs> it's moving. It's alive. Yeah. I saw it. Oh, look at this moving. It's weird. So, the icing is melting. Yeah. Let me get to stir in that before anything bad yeah. happens. So. Looks like ice cream. It said to melt the frosting until it's glossy. So, I'm... Okay. I guess like shiny when it melts. You know. So so frosting is matte to begin with, I guess. I mean, I. Yeah. Pretty oh, much. Okay. <laughs> sure. That looks pretty glossy to me. I believe they want it to be a little more liquid. Okay. So that's the shine of it you want right there. Um, I think so. Okay. Feeling oh, like this gosh, is that noise is driving me nuts. Yeah, I know you hate it. I know. <laughs> Sorry. Oh man. Um, we're gonna add in the chippies. Now, this recipe did say vanilla, um, baking chips, and I'm using white chocolate, and I don't know if that is the same thing or not. Okay. So. If I made a mistake, this would be the mistake that I made, is not having vanilla baking chips and having white chocolate instead, but well, I, I feel mean, like that should be roughly the same thing, right? I mean... I guess. I'm not sure. I'm not a, uh, expert on that. Oh, wait, no, I am an expert on that. I'm an expert on food, that's right. Sorry, <laughs> I forgot I said that earlier. Once you've dropped, uh, once you've melted the chips and the icing together and mix them, the noise. You're gonna put aside a half a cup of the untreated stuff. Yeah, it's just plain white. Why are you putting that to the side? We'll find out. Look, Jess is actually using a measurement. Yeah, the wrong one. I'm just putting in half of my one cup. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, that works. That definitely works. Alright, so that's about a half a cup. Okay. Oh, you're getting that stuff everywhere. Ooh. Ooh. No, I'm telling. This is why I don't bake. <laughs> this is why I don't bake. But this isn't baking. This is pretty much baking. This is making, <laughs> not baking. That's true. What's left in the pot, you're going to add one teaspoon of orange extract. So a measurement for me for that would have been, I would have probably dumped half that bottle in there. Yeah, a lot of people would do that, and that would be a mistake, because extract flavors are... I would make more orange. orange. <laughs> more orange flavor. Yeah, I'll, probably I'll not. I'll put in a couple drops extra of something if I like it, but no more. Extract is very strong. <laughs> trying not to... And now you mix it with that horrible noise? Yep. Sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I literally had to go to the other side of the apartment just to get away from that noise. It hurts... My jaw. It's horrible. But you got Easter egg coloring. Happy Easter, everybody! Um, 
So now the recipe that I saw said to use orange and yellow food coloring and had measurements for that, but orange doesn't come in a standard thing of food coloring. Right. So I'm going to have to use red to make a little slight orange. Uh-huh. Like the tiniest bit. I don't know. I'm just going to like whiz the color pretty much right <laughs> with a lot of this yellow. This should be interesting. With a decent amount of yellow. It's experiment time. A couple squozes. That is red. It looks orange on the camera, but it is red. No, it's not. It's yellow. That's yellow? Yeah. That's not yellow. That's orange. This is That's... red. Whatever. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Let's pray. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Wow, look at that. Magic right before your eyes. On the camera. Woo! Yeah, perfect. I honestly feel like that's pretty close to the shade that I was hoping for. You're like a magician or a wizard. I'm good with colors. I always have been good at No, nah, you're just like a wizard. Like, I'm gonna I don't go understand wizard. how to mix paint and stuff like that, but icing colors? I'm like a whiz with that. <laughs> like a wizard. Cause she's the icing wizard. Uh, you guys know what I'm doing with that, right? Yeah, uh -huh. you caught on to that, just mm -hmm. yeah. Alrighty. There it is, orange. Do we feel like it's mixed enough? I, I do. Like I see yellow. Still I definitely feel like it's up, mixed enough. I know you hate the noise, but I can't let my things suffer because you're a big baby. I am not. All right, so this recipe wanted an eight by eight, which I do have. Look at that. We're actually following the rules. So, like I said, this one wasn't a microwave one, but still not super difficult. I think we needed to like do it that. this way because of the vanilla and not the vanilla, but the orange extract mm. and the food coloring maybe so it probably needed to get hot enough to melt so much yeah probably i mean and probably didn't want it to cool too fast right again i did that on super 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 low though like for the most part i kept is that it an on actual low. setting on a stove what super Su super super low yeah yeah oh, okay <laughs> totally <laughs> So you're going to kind of want to get this done fairly quickly because uh, budge starts to set pretty fast. So I'm going to make sure that my orange is spread pretty evenly. Looks even to me. Take the spoon. Go to my white. And I like drop the weight on top. Don't mix it. Defeat the purpose of doing this. Right? You'll see. Hold on. You can swirl it. Get yo. Get ya. Swirl. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> If you say so, <laughs> Jess. Add <laughs> butter knife. And very gently. Swirl it around. Do not mix it too much or you'll like totally lose the white. And it'll just mix into the orange. These things done. I think they are. Yeah. And we got three. Three. Three kinds of fudge. Oh, fudge. Oh, fudge. Peanut butter. You got the orange cream. And strawberry. I do have to say, Jess, they do look good. Right? And the house still smells like orange from the <laughs> orange cream one. Which one do you want to try first? Uh, do the orange. Yeah, you did. 
I mean, that's the one that had the most that went into it, so I want to have to see that one first. Oh, look, my theory was correct. What theory? Of the aluminum foil. Using the aluminum foil to get it out of the pan. Yeah, that's what it's for. <laughs> yes, because I'm a genius. I don't think that that's why exactly. Yo, it's because I'm a genius. <laughs> Is it soft? Yeah, it is. Let's see if I can get it big. Okay. Alright, let's try this. The orange cream. Mmm. That's really good. Mm. That's really good. So, oh. you need to make, yeah. <laughs> you need to make that if you want to know you really really need to make that we get strawberry nuts yep since it's the only one you other one you'll eat yep i am not <laughs> eating the peanut butter Let's try the strawberry now. Wow, that's really good. Mm. It's really good. It's like strawberry frosting with chocolate. Like that's it is, what it is. I know, I know. But you <laughs> actually like you taste the strawberry frosting there. Like if you know what strawberry frosting tastes like, like and how good it is, that's it. But like in a solid form, you could actually hold it. You know, it's really good. Definitely mm. make that too. Don't make peanut butter. <laughs> Number three coming up. All right, now this is the one I am most psyched to try. I don't know why. Because this will be my go-to snack of life. You have a whole thing of peanut butter, basically. <laughs> A whole jar of peanut butter is what you're going to be eating. Mm. It's really, really good. I'm sure it's not, but I'll take your word for it. Try it. Nope. Just try nope. it. Nope. Not happening. Nope. Nope. It's really good. No. No peanut butter. Gross. No. You can have that, and I'm sure the dog will have some of that, not me. So, that's the end of a Geek's Kitchen. It is amazing. This time we actually made snacks, we've been making actual food. So, you can go back and use the recipes for your dinner and then make these for your desserts. So, how about that? That's amazing. I didn't realize that until the end here. But, just did an amazing job on these. And they you were super easy. need to try them. We'll throw the recipes down there. Really easy. Yep. I think like even if, if you're looking for recipes I could probably to do, do it. with like <laughs> honestly, Danny probably could do it. If you're looking for recipes like to do with kids. Easy dessert. Especially the microwave ones, super easy. Yep. So you could do some like peanut butter and some like and they didn't take long together to and do like and everything. peanut butter and jelly fudge. <laughs> peanut butter and jelly fudge. That's great. Yeah, the strawberry and the peanut butter. No, just bringing back things. Strawberry. No. Jelly. But we are out of here. Go make yourself some fudge. Later. <laughs>